right, guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, hope all is well. I am right now waiting for Amazon. Uh, a couple days ago, I broke my selfie stick that I use whenever I am vlogging or trying to take pictures. And so I had to order another one. They're supposed to be a couple stops away. So uh, I'm waiting on them to bring that to me. But um, as you can see, I changed my hair. Um, I did get it braided down yesterday. I didn't really have time to um, come on and vlog yesterday. Me and my girls were pretty busy um, on yesterday trying to get that taken care of. I will be leaving out to go on a trip um, in a few days, about a week or so. Um, and so, yeah, we had an appointment to get our hair braided on yesterday. And I actually debated getting it done, getting it braided down. Number one, I didn't feel like I had the time to do it. Didn't feel like sitting in a chair for four hours getting it done. But at the same time, I didn't want to go on my trip and have to be concerned about my hair or it poofing up uh, in its natural state or sweating or not looking the way I wanted it to look or just even having to be concerned with how it's going to look every day. So I went ahead and got it braided down along with them. Um, and so... That's off the list. I don't have to worry about that. And for a while, I can just get up and go, which is, you know, that's always a good thing. So, um, but I've got to, um, I still got to get my nails done. I've got to somehow another pencil some time in some time this week to get that done, um, get a manicure and a pedicure. And then I've got to start packing because I haven't packed either. So um, I've got quite a few things that I need to get done um, this week. Um, I do actually work this week, uh, only this is my short weekend, so I'm only working two days this week. So I'll get those two days over with, and then I will be off for roughly 13 days. Um, <laughs> so um, this is going to be a much-needed, well-deserved break, well-deserved vacation. So I'll spend probably about a week of it actually on vacation, six days of it on vacation, and then I'll have a few days to myself to kind of just regroup, regather, kind of rest after a trip anybody knows that if you go on a trip um you actually need a rest from the vacation so i'll have a few days that i can recover and then i'll go back in the office and i'll work a couple of days and then i'll be off again so uh didn't plan it that way on purpose it just happened to fall that way but i'm glad that i did because like i said i'm definitely in need of some rest so um i don't know we'll see i um i also went in Kohl's. i had some Kohl's cash that i needed to spend um I used to be real good about it when I used to shop in Kohl's, especially when my kids were younger. I would go in Kohl's a lot of times because I would like to, I like the coupons and the deals that I would find on things, you know, getting that 20, 25% off and getting the Kohl's cash and stuff like that. But I've started here lately, you know, the times that I've been in there, I have forgotten to actually go back and spend the Kohl's cash. Um, and so today I did go in there and spend it. I had like 60 bucks in Kohl's cash, which is good. Um, it's, it's good and bad. <laughs> Uh, and if you know, you know. But anyway, I had about 60 bucks in Kohl's cash, so I did go in there. Um, I found a Vera Wang blazer in there, and then it was another brand. I can't remember what the name of that brand was. Anyway, it's a brand that I had never seen before, and I found this cute little uh, pink blazer in there, and then a cute little um, wrap dress that ties in the front. And so, if I get a chance in this vlog, I'll share it with you. Like I said, it's just a couple pieces that I happened to pick up because I had that Kohl's cash. But I've been up and kind of ripping and running all morning long. And I don't know. I guess sometimes I feel like I am supposed to have this laundry list of things to do and supposed to get them all checked off. And so I'm constantly feeling or at times I'm feeling overwhelmed for trying to tick all these things, tick all these boxes off. But I got to get out of that habit because, you know, like I said, my kids are getting older, have gotten older, don't need as much from me. And so I've got to try to figure out how to redirect my energy and focus and place it on myself because I'm so used to having to do things where they're concerned and not to say that they don't still have things that they have need of where a mother is concerned because they do and they still keep me busy but just not in the same way and so um somehow or another I've got to find a way to redirect that energy and begin to focus more on myself and you know just be available 
in healthy ways for them as needed. So um, that's something that here in the future I'm going to be working on and trying to uh, place some focus back on myself, pour back into myself. Not that I have neglected myself, um, but just be able to give more to myself. So the other day I was at work and I had, I was feeling like I was carrying some tension or something in my shoulders and things. And I was like, you know, it's been a while since you went and got a massage. And I used to get those, not regularly, regularly, but I used to get them a lot more often. It's been a minute. So I'm thinking here in the next few weeks or so, I'm going to try to go ahead and get me, get myself scheduled for um, a massage, maybe even do a facial. Um, I really don't have any real problem areas right now where my skin is concerned. So I'm a little nervous about getting a facial because I don't know um, if I will agitate something that is not currently in an agitated state. So um, I don't know. I may ask for just a gentle uh, facial just to give myself a little bit more pampered treatment. Um, but I definitely know I need a massage. So, And I've actually been told by a couple of doctors here lately <laughs> that I really need to go and get a massage. So that's something that I'll be looking into likely when we come back off of the trip. Um, probably won't be right after we come off the trip. Hopefully when I come off of this trip, I will feel well relaxed. But if not, you know, like I said, that'll be something that I'll be working on in weeks to come after that. So anyway, I just wanted to check in and say hello. Hope all is well. And if I don't see you guys again today, I'll see you tomorrow. started I'm going to um, roast these chicken wings in the oven I'm gonna make some um, chicken and rice and some vegetables to go with it but usually whenever I make chicken wings like this I let them cook for quite a while um, just to give them that extra crispy texture um, kids like it that way as well so uh, like I said I'm gonna put them in the oven probably 
they'll probably be in there a good hour, hour and 15 minutes or so, uh, just to get that extra crispiness on it. And uh, believe it or not, they'll still come out um, juicy, I guess. They, they like them that way. I don't know, I don't eat chicken. Uh, I just cook them the way that they like them. So I've got the chicken marinade. I think it's like a garlic Parmesan marinade. Um, I had pre-seasoned them and then I added that uh, marinade to them and just allowed them to marinate for about an hour. Usually I will marinate something like this for a day or, you know, do it sometime like in the afternoon and then marinate it overnight. Um, but I didn't have the time. I wasn't working with that kind of time today. So it's not that big of a deal. It'll still, um, I'm sure that the flavor will still be there. So like I said, I'm going to put this in the oven now. Uh, and then in about 45 minutes or so, I'll start cooking the sides that they'll eat with it. And so uh, that's what I'm up to. Saturday guys I am getting ready to try to get a workout in um, per usual um, I've kind of been laying around today because my energy level has been trash literal trash um, but I have to get up I've got a, quite a few things that I need to get done um, one of which is that I've got to finish packing for my trip which I will be leaving out for the day after tomorrow so um i've still got to try to get some things together for the trip finalize what i'm going to actually take the goal is to not overpack um, but i'm not really doing well in that area either but like i said right now i'm trying to or i'm going to try to get in a good leg day workout um with a little bit of cardio mixed in in between like I said, my energy level is so bad right now. Um, but yeah, that's the goal right now. Uh, two things I need to get off of the list is getting my workout in and uh, then I'm going to start the packing process or finish the packing process. I've actually started and have pulled some things out, but I'm really not even sure about the things that I've pulled out. Um, then I actually, I've got a little short list of things that I need to pick up from the store before we leave, things that I will need uh, while we're on the trip. So I don't know if I'll do that today or not. I've also got to get a manicure and pedicure and likely that won't happen until tomorrow sometime, but um, we shall see. <music> All 
All right, y'all, so workout is done. Um, surprisingly, somewhere along the way, I managed to muster up quite a bit of energy, and so pretty effective. I'm pretty pleased with what I was able to accomplish. Now, I am trying to put together my little packing cubes for um, the um, for the clothing items that I'm going to be wearing, toiletry items and things like that. Um, like I said, I had already kind of started, but I'm not really finished yet. I need to go through my toiletries to see what I'm actually missing. Um, got some things that I've already had in there, probably some things that I need to clean out and refill. So um, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to turn you around real quick so you can kind of see what I'm working with. Got a little bit of a mess going on, but uh, I'll turn you around and see uh, what items I have pulled. Um, I do need to find something somewhat dressy to take with me just in case we um, do something a little bit more upscale. Um, so I haven't figured that out yet. And then I've got to pull my sandals that I'm going to be taking. Got to pull a pair of sneakers. I always take a pair of jeans just in case. Um, and I got my suitcases out here, but it's not likely that I'm going to be taking those. We are driving um, five hours, and so more than likely there won't be um, enough room in the car that we're going to take to take the larger suitcases. So I do have my large Vera Bradley duffel bag that I may use, um, but I really don't know because knowing me, I need the space. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to turn you around and show you what I am working with, and then once I have finished that process, I'll share. Vera Bradley duffel bag that I may be taking that's in this larger suitcase. Um, and then the small carry-on bag, I may or may not take that. I don't know because it doesn't match, so that's probably going to get on my nerves. Um, but I've got a, another matching bag that goes with the Vera Bradley duffel. So I could potentially take those two. I don't know. More than likely, I know I'm probably going to take my Marc Jacobs uh, large tote with me as well. But like I said, I've just got some things pulled out here. Um, don't have my shoes yet. Toiletry case that I typically take with me whenever I'm traveling. Um, and I've already got some of my travel size items in there, such as body wash, deodorants, uh, baby oils, um, oral hygiene stuff, things like that in there, toothbrush, room spray, stuff like that. I've already got that in there. Um, and like I said, I just need to go through and see what I'm missing, see what I need to re-up on. Uh, of course, I have pulled my sun hats. Um, this one is always a favorite for me. Um, it comes with interchangeable uh, bands, so you can change up the look or the um, the style of your outfit with that. And so I do like this hat as well. Um, but then, like I said, I've got a couple that, one that I've never worn before. I um, pulled that one from Walmart. I want to say sometime last year, I actually pulled those two. And then I've actually worn this one quite a bit of times as well. So that's probably one of my favorites. I've got a red one, but I don't know if I'm going to pull it out. Um, it really depends on which bathing suits I'm going to be wearing. Um, and then I do have a cube here that's going to have my workout clothes in it because I'm definitely going to try to work out at least three to four times while we're gone. Um, we'll be gone about six days. So um, I definitely can't miss that many workouts. Um, Got to stay sane. So Anyway, um, like I said, I'm going to get all of this mess together. And then uh, once I got everything in the cubes, I'll share them with you guys and just show you how I packed it up. Now, I know for a fact I don't need all these shoes that I've pulled. Oh, yes, yes. Been in a whole lot of pain, now we laughing 
Me and Bay making plays till we crashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need to be on the scene, we are the scene. Yeah. Dripping wet from head to toe, la baby, me. Yeah, I get what's mine. Let's remind them, be my right. All gas, no way they gon' never pay us. No way they could ever break us. Oh, next we ain't gonna slow up now. All gas, stay down even when we not up. No way they could ever break us up. Oh God, they could only try to keep up I let it ride when I usually would've rolled out I know you grateful that I stayed down We eat a pass in the past, that's all done now Glad that we stayed down We gon' pull up in a whip, start a new trend Every inch of our skin is the blueprint Follow the lines They act like they forget, let's remind them be my rider All gas No way they can never pay us No way they can never break us Alright y'all, and so now I'm to the point where I'm trying to pack up um, the bathing suits and cover-ups that I'm going to take um, This, of course, I think I shared this uh, in a previous vlog, but this is the yellow bathing suit that I picked up from Target um, with that little back detail along the back side, the little um, ring in the um, shoulder blade area and then it's got like that diamond shape cut out in the back of the bathing suit so probably going to be taking this one and this was the two piece cover up that I got from the Janae Naylor collection so I got the skirt and the top and I was thinking that I was going to do yellow out from under it I've got a yellow um bikini but I don't think that I'm going to take that one um I'm thinking of taking uh this green bikini that I got a couple years ago and wearing it out from under it um I think that would be really cute together this blue netted um I wouldn't really call it a cover-up. I've previously worn it as a shirt with like a tank or something out from under it. But I'm thinking about pairing it with that yellow. I think that that would be a nice pop of color out from under the navy. So that's what I'm thinking that I'm going to take to pair with the blue cover-up. And I got this one from Target as well. I think this one is by Shade and Shore. Let me see. Yeah, this one is by Shade and Shore. And I got it in a size small. Um, so I'll probably take that. Got this cover up from TJ Maxx some time ago. Excuse me, y'all. I've never worn this one, but I think that it would be neat with this one. Or um, now that I'm looking at it, I actually like the um, cream colored cover up that I got also from Shade and Shore. I showed this in a haul some time ago. And then I love this little purple two piece bathing suit or two piece bikini that I got from Target. Uh, and this one was fairly cheap. It's by Wild Fable. $12 for the top and $12 for the bottom. So um, those are likely going to be the bathing suit sets that I take. All right, y'all. I don't know what is on my mind. <laughs> I literally don't have any of the primary things that I said I was taking. I don't have any of that stuff in that packing cube. Which lets me know that I have just kind of been throwing things in the bag because I remember that there was one outfit of, you know, just a basic pair of um, shorts that I got at Target and a little top. And I rem remembered rather that I didn't have it and then went and got it out of the closet and realized that I had kind of been gathering a couple of things to put in. <sighs> Y'all, I don't know what's in this suitcase or what's in this cube rather. <sighs> I almost feel like I'm getting ready to have to start over. Not not start over, but pick through what I've got because I'm about to overdo it again. Last week, last week or the week before last, I purchased these. I went to Victoria's Secret. They were having that 
a semi-annual sale and I found these pajamas. They were 60% off. Uh, it's just a little two-piece short set. It's got that soft, cottony feel to them. Almost like, um, I think it's kind of like that bamboo material. Um, very, very soft. I don't know if these are the bamboo pajamas or not, or pajamas, but they are... They were regularly $64, $64.50, and I got them, $64.95, I got them for $26 or $27 and some change, um, and that was with tax, so I thought that that was a really, really good deal. Um, should they get more on sale, I'll probably pick them up too. Um, they had the pants set too, the pants set was a I think it was a medium or a large. I know it would have been a little bit too big or bigger than I would have wanted it. So I didn't get that when I just got the short set. If they had had the pants set even in the same print in the size that I wanted, I probably would have got that one too. Because like I said, I really did like or really do like the way that they feel. But these pajamas here are super, super pretty as well. I bought these um, last fall. Um, but I think I think that I could get away with this color. Not that it really matters because they're pajamas, but um, I like this color. I picked them up last fall, this collection, or not really a collection, but this uh, line came out in Target last year. And I got this turquoise, this pretty turquoise blue color. thought it was very, very fitting for uh, my trip. And I got the shirt, the pants as well as the little bralette that comes with it, little pretty lacy bralette color. And this is super, super pretty. I just love the color on this one. I've been waiting to wear it. Why, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I picked this up, like I said, last fall. And I'm gonna take this on the trip with me as well. <music> done but I'm not however the bulk of what needs to be done is done um, the packing cubes are done so I've got uh, pajamas swimsuits and cover-ups workout clothes here and then main outfits all into these four cubes um, and like I said I'm still not sure whether or not I'm going to use the um, Vera Bradley duffel bag or whether or not I'm going to use the small carry-on as my um main luggage versus the um the carry-on or not i'm not sure um it really depends on how everything is going to fit but yeah either i'm going to put these cubes into this bag here and allow them to bring that bag to me later on if you've been on a cruise you know you do not get your luggage right away they bring them to you later and so uh, i'm debating on whether or not i'm going to put it into this one or whether or not i'm going to carry the duffel bag um, or have them uh, put all of my main things into the duffel bag and carry this as my carry-on. So and then the only thing I'll have left to pack will be my um, my jewelry and perfume. So once I get that out of the way, um, I'm good to go. I will probably take, I'm probably going to take my camera and... I may take my iPad. It's a good chance I won't take the iPad either. Um, but I, I'm definitely probably going to take my camera and, of course, my uh, tripod. Um, so a couple of pieces of technology or things needed for technology, perfume and accessories, and that should be it. So...
probably just around noon. Um, just finished actually watching Pastor online this morning. I didn't go to church in person. Um, so I watched him online. And now we are, I'm getting ready to run to the nail shop to get my nails done. They need to be done extremely badly. So I'm getting a manicure and pedicure. And then I've got to run to, I don't know whether or not I'm going to do Target or Walmart. I may end up having to do both, but we got some last minute things that we need to pick up. So we're going to do that. Uh, for the most part, you guys saw last night, I finalized my packing. Um, the only thing that I realized that I didn't pack now uh, is um, some makeup. So not going to take a whole lot of makeup anyway. I don't wear a whole lot of makeup. So I uh, still want to have a few things to kind of freshen up the face, liven up the face. So uh, I'll pack that stuff up and then I'll be ready to go. So um, I don't know how much of the sprucing up around the house I'll do before we leave. Um, when I come back in town, I'll have a few days before I have to go back to the office. So um, what I don't get done today, uh, I'll do when I get back. I'm not gonna put a whole lot of pressure on myself today, but uh, as long as I get some things done, I'm glad that I had the weekend to try to get myself together. And then, like I said, we will head out first thing in the morning. We're probably gonna be leaving around five-ish in the morning or so. And then that'll be that. So. Uh, yeah, like I said, nail shop first, then a couple of stores, back home, finish up the little small details of packing, spruce up what I can, and we're going to get ready to go. So. <laughs> by the company D and D company is D and D Diva Nails uh, number 216 so that's what I got on my fingers and my toes oh I don't know why going to the nail shop feels like such a task <laughs> but I made it through and now we're gonna run over to Target look like it's getting ready to storm don't it we're gonna run the target real quick. Hopefully it's not going to uh, start pouring down raining on us, these summer pop-up storms or whatever you wanna call it. So we're running to target, picking up a few things there. I do know I've gotta to run to Walmart as well, but hopefully this won't take more than 20-ish, 30 minutes in and out and back to the house, so. Look at that cloud. Woo. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest You a mood, body giving center views I'm just saying I'm a muse But you ain't even flexing And you cool, tat it up, cover rooms Different vibe, you know ain't proof But you ain't even flexing And you ain't gotta try too hard 
Tell me one thing inside your plot Tell me think about inside the walls Words got deep, it's like a swat Making me better, you hotter than pepper, mm-hmm, mm-hmm You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar, mm-hmm, mm-hmm All of these women, they not on your level, mm-hmm, mm-hmm You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm-hmm, mm-hmm You a move, body giving, seen a fuse I'm just saying I'm amused But you ain't even flexing Think you cool, tatted it up, cover wounds Different vibe, you know ain't proof But you ain't even flexing 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 But you ain't even Alright guys, so I'm back in um, From the store Of course, you guys know I went and got my nails done Nails and toes And just ran to Target real quick um, I didn't find most of what I needed in Target What did I get out of Target? Um, personal female items and had to get my eczema lotion as well and um picked up a couple of pair of uh panties from target as well and then out of walmart we just got some sunscreen um i got uh this vitamin case don't know what i did with my actual vitamin case um how i have misplaced it i do not know um, that I normally carry that in the mornings with me when I'm getting ready to uh, go to work. If I am working early in the mornings and I want to eat something before I um, take my vitamins in the morning when I have to be there super early in the morning, I normally have that uh, vitamins case with me. So I don't know if I have left it in one of my bags. It's probably in my other car. Um, good chance that that's the case. I didn't want to take a chance. So I picked up two of these so that we can um, have vitamins with us while we're on our trip um and then i did get some spray suntan for the uh for my kids as well just got some q-tips to throw in my um toiletry bag some baby powder in case i need it more baby oil because i use this every day um and then i got i got one of these um color stay suede ink lipsticks um i do have one in a red color i also have one in a pink color and then I found this really pretty one. It's more like a purple light color. Um, it's kind of picking up on camera like it's more of a mauve, but it does have more of a purple color or tint to it. So I picked this one up and this is in the shade 13, stir the pot or stir, yeah, stir the pot. Um, I don't know if you can see that or if it will focus. There we go, good job. I told you I'm gonna get this in a minute. Uh, but anyway, this has more of like a purple tint to it. Um, the ones that I already have, one is like a, it's like a reddish color or a deep red color. And one is like a, a deep pink color. This one is more of a purple color, but yes, pick this one up as well. Um, and then I actually picked up some protein, um, some plant-based protein in liquid form. I normally do the plant-based powder, but I picked up the, um, liquid base. And this is by the brand Owen. Um, I got the... Got this one, which is in dark chocolate. I just realized it was dark chocolate. I thought it was regular chocolate. So good luck to me with that one. I actually just tried this one when I came in because I hadn't had anything to eat. But I also got this brand, which is, uh, well, it's the same brand. It's just a different flavor. This is the plant protein vanilla. And this one is sugar-free. This one has 32 grams of protein. So I like that. Um, and it actually tasted pretty good. I just made myself a protein coffee with it. Um, this one only, it has 200 calories in it, but like I said, no sugar, six grams of carbs, no cholesterol, pretty good stuff in there. Um, but yeah, I picked this up as well. And so hopefully I will be able to take this with me when I go on the trip, it won't be an issue. And this way I can still stay on the right path with my protein goals. That is one of the main things that I want to make sure that I focus on, um, while I'm on the trip, I want to make sure that I'm still getting in enough protein um, hopefully this will push away or stir away some of the cravings that I may or may not have while I'm on the ship and you're surrounded by all that food and stuff. So, um, it's been known or it's a known fact that if you do not get enough protein in your diet within the day, that you tend to crave sugar a lot. And because I do like sweets a lot, I try to hit that protein macro to try to help me steer away from eating too much sugar, eating sugar in excess. So anyway, that's just my reasoning for trying to make sure that I get some protein to take with me. Like I said, right now, we're good. Oh, and I did get some wine. I like this brand. 
Um, it's from the company Chateau Elan. Um, went to that winery, been to that winery a few times. But anyway, a lot of the wines that they sell are really, really good. They sell the brand in Walmart. This is the Duncan Creek. Um, I also got Summertime and Spring Blossom. And so we will take those with us when we go on the trip as well. We are told that we can take our own wine. So I've got a couple of bottles of that. And so we'll take that with us as well. Um, most of the drinks that we'll have will probably be something that they serve on the ship. But I, we just got that just in case we uh, want to have something for ourselves in our room. So that's what I picked up from the store. Um, and like I said, now I'm just finalizing my packing. I got my boarding passes and all that good stuff printed off. So um had to make sure I pulled my passports and stuff like out. Would have left it. I'm glad something just... I don't know what made me, what triggered the thought, but I'm glad that I remembered because I would have ran out of here without them. We'd had to circle back and get them. But anyway, got passports and all that kind of good stuff ready. So the only thing I've got to do now, like I said, is finalize packing. Um, I've got a load of clothes washing in the washing machine. Got one more to wash after that. And we're going to call it a day. More than likely, I will pick up with you guys tomorrow, either on the way there or once we get to the ship. Um... I'm thinking about riding the bike today. It's supposed to be a rest day, but um, I did miss at the top of the week. So I've got a goal that I want to hit and I may actually have time to do that. So I may jump on my bike and ride real quick um, and then, like I said, call it a day.